Is your summer to-do list long and overwhelming? Worry not. Leanne is back to help us streamline and decide between DIY or hiring a pro. That's I'm, right. I'm the second one. Okay. <laughs> but, but you know what? You might be the first. I might be the first. Talk to us about what people can do first and foremost to streamline that summer to-do list. Because you're looking at it, you're thinking, oh, summer's going to be so fun. But then you're like, oh, yeah, but then the fence and all the deck the and the ba 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 da like all the things you have to do. And not only that, when you go through the ba 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 you're also thinking, but I have the whole summer to do it. And oh then all gosh. of a sudden it's fall and you didn't do anything. Eight weeks. Right? That's it. So if you're rolling into the summer with a hefty to-do list, List, yeah. What I can say is the most important thing to do is plan. And that doesn't sound like fun, but we're going to make it fun today. Okay. And I'm going to give you all the tools that you need to plan for your project, uh, regardless of what it is, if it's an outdoor project or an indoor project that okay. you might be tackling as well. Yeah. And it all starts with asking Salsa yourself. And margaritas. Yes, that's where <laughs> everything should begin. But for the, our purposes today, it's going to start with these five questions. Okay. So right out of the gate, when you're planning your summer to-do list, you're going to ask yourself, do you plan to DIY or hire a pro? You may yeah. think that this is a very defined answer, yeah. but I don't want you to be specific yet. We're going to ask a few more questions okay. to really hone in. All right. I also want you to ask yourself, what is your experience and knowledge with this project? Mm. Just because you're not going to be doing it doesn't mean you should learn what needs to be done because yeah. that will also affect timelines and what you think it might cost versus what it's actually going to cost for hiring a pro or doing it yourself. Okay. Am I willing to get my hands dirty like, no, actually get your hands dirty? <laughs> <laughs> and this is where when you look at a project and you think, I could do this myself until you see what's involved from step two and you go, oh, yeah, but I, I know what's involved, Maybe but I don't want to. I just right. don't want to. Yeah. And then do I realistically have the time? I think that's the big one. That's such a big one. Time and money are two of the most yeah. important things for any project, whether you, again, you're hiring a pro or DIYing. Mm -hmm. And time is a big factor that people underestimate. And last yeah. but not least, probably one of the most important is, is a trade uh, like, like a, a license trade required, trade. Yeah. which is very an important question to ask because then you're not DIYing anything. Right. You're going to immediately call the pros. You've got to get the pros. Okay, so should we go to the first question? Let's talk a little bit about DIYing. What do we well, need to know? I would is there actually more we need say to know? most people, let's start with the pros because I think a lot of people in their mind will mm -hmm. say, I'll just hire a pro because that sounds easy. And if mm -hmm. that's your choice, congratulations. <laughs> you just bought yourself, or I should say invested, in more time for your summer. Right. Which I think is, is a reasonable choice for a lot of people. For sure. Now, whether you are doing fencing, uh, putting in a new deck, painting shutters outside, regardless of what that project is, mm -hmm. I love using the Kijiji app yeah. to search for a whole bunch of different skilled trades. Mm -hmm. There, it's, it's endless, the amount of trades that are online. And what I actually love most is they're locally in my area, so I can search in a kind of a hyper-focused geographical area. Yeah. And what's also great is you can look at the owner's page. They have have their own page mm -hmm. that shows other services that they may offer so you may look at them and go oh I can check a whole lot of things off of my to-do right. list as well as ratings Okay. I love reading the yeah. ratings from other users. So it helps you look for somebody who's really trustworthy, really reliable. Yeah. Do you leave ratings for people? I leave ratings all the time. I answer surveys. I fill forms out. I do all of that That's stuff. That's amazing. Like if there's an election ha happening and they're calling my house, <laughs> I'm on the phone for 45 minutes. <laughs> you like get comfortable. And my husband's <laughs> like, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, they want to know who I'm going to vote for. And I've got questions. Right? So like I do all of that stuff. So I do leave, I leave ratings. So what I love and about reviews. you saying that with reviews. Yeah is so many times people will use online uh, platforms to say bad things, but it's I also do a that. great place to say great things yeah. because this is now word of mouth. This is our new word of mouth marketing. Yes. And if you've had a great experience, it's a zero cost way to support a local small business in your area by just leaving a quick review on the, on the Kijiji app. Mm -hmm. And then it allows other people to see what your experience was and help them make a decision on hiring a pro as well. It makes a big difference. It makes a huge difference. Whether you're traveling or whatever you're doing, you're reading all of those comments because you want to know. So I only leave good comments. If it's a bad experience, I actually keep it to myself, which oh, is also okay. probably bad. No, but that's but not I don't the norm, want, but I, I appreciate wanna, that. I don't want to do that to a small business. So <laughs> I'll, I write the good stuff. Okay, so let's talk now about DIYing. Okay. So that very first question that I asked you, DIY or yeah. hire a pro, if you roll into this saying,
saying, I'm just going to roll up my sleeves and do all the things this summer. Yeah. I want you to really critically think about four things before you even start. Okay. This is where the planning truly comes in. Now, I don't want to scare anybody with the spreadsheet. But I like the spreadsheet. <laughs> I like to be organized. Well and this is something that you can create really easily just on a quick piece of paper. Yeah. If you take just a few minutes, maybe half an hour, pour yourself a cup of coffee or a margarita and work <laughs> through this list, okay. this will help you plan for not only budgeting your time but also dollars Good. and again the worst thing that can happen is when a project runs over budget and you're like i have no money to finish or you don't leave yourself enough time and then again falls here and your projects aren't done, done. so i'm yeah. going to use this and i'll show you an example of what i'm planning to do this summer to diy i am going to be painting oh, my exterior shutters mm -hmm. and you go well that's like a one-day job right but is, know, it? is it? We're going to go through the steps because step number one is actually to remove the shutters. Yeah. So it's all these things we just think painting in our mind. Mm -hmm. Removing the shutters, I'm going to estimate, will take me about two hours. Why two hours, you ask? Well, I've got to move a ladder all around the house and go up and down and get the drill. Yep. Speaking of which, is the materials of what I need, not only a drill, but I need my, an need extension ladder. ladder. And you want to know something? You don't have one? I don't own an extension ladder. Right. So all of a sudden, now I have to go out and buy an extension ladder. Yeah. for $250 or, as a great option, shop in the second-hand economy. Right. So I actually found a ladder on Kijiji for $100. Oh, good. So I saved $150. It's a great way, shopping in the second-hand economy, to also sustainably buy things like used tools, yeah. leftover materials, can yep. really help to stay on budget for your project. What I love about doing this, so removing shutters is step one. Yep. As we work through the list, cleaning the shutters, priming the shutters, waiting for the shutters to dry from the primer before I can paint them. Sanding, that takes time. the shutters, like right. it's all time. It all takes time. When you've finished every step, here's the few things that happen. Mm -hmm. You can now add up all of your time total on the bottom. Right. And you can say, what I thought was gonna take me one day is actually four days. Right. And now you have a cost total as well. And sometimes it's maybe just more effective, cost effective and time effective, yeah. to hire a pro instead oh, of doing yes. it yourself. You have to know who you are because even as <laughs> right. that says two hours, I'm thinking, but am I going to break for three hours in between? Add a little more. Add a buffer. And hang out, right? <laughs> have so a margarita. You, you really have to know. These are really great tips. Thank you so much for You're that, LA. Welcome. Good stuff. I know you'll get it done.